Today was finally the day that I got my Red 124 project delivered back to my house. I had also gone up to the shop to collect the bumpers and the various other bits and pieces. It did take two trips to get that all home. Um, the first thing I did was install the handles back onto the car so that there's uh, less handling of the actual painted surfaces and you can just grab onto the handles if you need to open the doors. That took longer than I expected. The first three handles went on pretty easily, but of course one had to give me some trouble. I think there was just a bit of excessive paint thickness around the opening, but I got there in the end and all four work perfectly. It could have done with new ones, but where do you draw the line really? So the first thing I did after that was install the mirrors starting with the driver's side. There are only uh, three screws, each of those, and they're pretty easy to install. This is just me finishing off the passenger side. This is the electric side. The driver's side on this car is manual. Uh, to make it look like a MB again, the most important thing is to fit that uh, star badge at the rear. Uh, don't be an idiot like me and just uh, stick the star on without looking. There is an arrow on the rear side which is pointing upwards. Believe it or not, as square as the 124 is, there are actually curves on this surface and it's important that this star goes the right way around. I did screw it up and put it the wrong way around the first time. But fortunately, I was able to get it off without damaging anything and reinstall it correctly. I did record that, but thought, uh, I don't need to look like that much of an idiot, so I've cut that out. The next thing was to install the uh, rear lock for the rear lid. Um, because it's been so long since I've done this, I did have to remove it three times again, because I forgot to uh, lay the cabling for the uh, right hand tail light through that channel and then I forgot about the vacuum line and then I forgot about the electrical connector on the actual um, vacuum box thing and then I installed these uh, tail lights these aren't new they're fairly reasonable but I kind of would like new um, they'll do for now though I bought these second hand from the UK from uh, a guy that Everybody has probably seen on the 124 Enthusiast group. He advertised them and uh, I quickly grabbed them. Installing that um, handle was pretty straightforward. There's just a lot of little nuts and washers and rubber spaces you've got to put on there. And um, after that it started looking like a 124 again. The enthusiasm starts to go into overdrive as the car starts to look like it once did again. And um, I can't wait to do a bit more, but unfortunately that's enough for today. My back is hurting now, um, particularly because of that uh, rear lid lock. There's a lot of bending over involved with that. But I will get started on some more work tomorrow, and there will be more progress done. And my rebuilt Hirschman is reinstalled as well. That's looking pretty good. And so do these mirrors now that they're installed. And uh, fortunately, there were no scratches or chips today. So now is a good time to stop when you start feeling tired because that's when mistakes start to happen. And for anyone interested, this is what the bumpers look like. Um, I've abandoned the whole idea of having two-tone. It doesn't do it for me. It's old-fashioned as far as I'm concerned. I really like this smooth look.